the reason why I love spreadsheets is freedom. You have this uh, cells, this rows and columns, and you can put anything you want, just anything, into these cells. And today, just for fun, we'll make rounded corners uh, below your filter function results. Okay, this is data sample and this is something special I've prepared for you. And first of all, let's check and create simple filter. Equals filter. Filter function. Of course, curly brackets to create an array. I'll select names. I'll select also gender and age based on this column column b when this is equals true i mean i will even write this down write true and i also add some headers name sex or gender and age and i'll add some formatting let it be like this one and I I guess it's it that's it and also I want to add something below the table so I'll repeat these curly brackets but make it like outer so they are out of this function so I can add something below and interesting thing now this is our rows our original rows and next I want to add one more row and it must have the same number of columns so if I just create something like this column number one two three and close our uh, array literal this curly brackets and will work and it will create something below our result no problem here but I want also to add an image image of this and uh, the mode will be two, which uh, will let me to adjust image to the cell size. So image will uh, stretch a bit, but it's no problem for me. And I also copy this and create another image here. It will be our corners, so corner one and corner number two. So now you see these corners and these images, guess what? Is just from my GitHub repo. It's open. Uh, open source repo and it's free and I can add any images there so it is like a storage so you can add your own corners or something else uh, to create uh, visually things like this like in my table and I also adjust some settings uh, make it to the right so it will be it will look uh, more beautiful and you see these corners I've just created well this was one possible way but at also let's see uh, what we can do just with charts just with charts let's see I'll repeat this formula here and I don't forget about equal sign before it and I make also some formatting and add my headers so they will look just the same as first one but I want to add corners here. I'll bring it to the right too. And I want to know what is the length of my data. So I'll just count numbers, count day, number of these names. How much of them do we have? It's six, but if I click something, it will be seven. You see my corners here, they also adjust to the length of the table. And I want to add this trick here. I'll add extra column to the right to, just to show you how it works and uh, create like something like index for array and if sequence of these equals these, then I want to char of these. This is left bottom corner, I guess so. And if not, nothing else. And I got this corner. And now I want just to repeat this formula and write it to the right and select different char. It will be from column D2. And that's it. And also I want to add chars from for the beginning of my table. Char of these 
and char of this one. So this is just a uh, few samples for you, for your imagination. So you can uh, create anything you want. You see these chars? I just it happens. It happens so that there are chars like these, which are similar to what I need. But with an image function, uh, for now it only can be on a separate cell, so you can see this cell below the video. But with image, you can create any image you want, so it's just about your imagination. You can create any reports of any visual, and they will, I hope, they will look fine for you.